guys so this week i am bringing you a review video um sorry this video is a little bit late this is i'm filming this on thursday and hopefully this will get posted while i'm going to work this afternoon um i just i was really busy the past couple weeks with school um it was the end of my degree so i had a take-home exam last week and an essay to write on monday and i've been working lots like full-time hours so i really haven't had a day like where i can actually film so i'm just kind of squeezing this filming in before i go to work but anyways let's get on to the important part which is the reviews but first of all i just want to do a quick announcement uh, i am going to be starting on this channel a monthly like comics feature so if you're not into comics you can totally skip that i won't take offense to that um, but I've been getting really into comics and I kind of want to talk about it and like what better way than booktube. So on to the books. I'm going to dare I and do these in the order that I read them in. So starting with Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier which was on my April TBR. Um, absolutely love this book. Oh my god. This was like mind-blowingly good. Um, if you like gothic literature. Basically, it tells the story of the main character, whose name you never actually know, but she marries um, Maxim de Winter, and you find out that his wife has died the year before, um, and they get married, and there's all kinds of conflict when she moves to his big stately house, because she is not of the same class as him, um, so it's kind of not... Class is kind of maybe the wrong word. She's more, she's just not in his league. Um, but when he finds her, she's working as a companion. Um, and he's like super, super wealthy. But yeah, so it's super gothic and it deals with the conflicts of her moving into their house and all that fun stuff. Uh, definitely check it out if you are a fan of gothic literature. Um, if you are a fan of Shirley Jackson, 100% read this. Amazing. Next up is Nancy Mitford's The Pursuit of Love, which was also on my April TBR. Um, I did actually finish everything on my April TBR, so you'll be seeing all of those. Um, this is a World War, I think it's World War II story, um, set during the, before the outbreak of the war, and it basically, um, basically it, it, deals with being a woman prior to World War II. Um, it also deals with like social stigmas and stuff like that. I didn't enjoy this much. I think I gave this like three stars on Goodreads. Um, it was funny, it was witty, but like it just, it didn't grab me the same way some other works of the same time period. Um, she was a contemporary of Evelyn Waugh, who I do love. I love, um, oh, Brideshead Revisited and his work um but yeah it just wasn't quite on the same level i mean it was still good i might check out the other ones in the series but for now i'm going to leave it at that i didn't realize it was a series before i bought it um but yeah so that was that was okay next up i read em forrester's maurice which maybe because people hyped it up so much for me because everybody's like you love forrester you have to read maurice it's gonna blow your mind um, I found it a little bit problematic. I, there was a little bit of misogyny in it and I get where Forrester's coming from with the misogyny. Like it's, it makes sense in the context, but it was just a little, little galling to read. I still really enjoyed this. This is one of the, I think only outright turn of the century LGBTQT um, books out there. So if you're interested in that sort of thing and interested in turn of the century perceptions on homosexuality definitely check this out um basically it details maurice's maurice the main character naturally um his kind of like acceptance of himself and it's a little bit more uplifting than one would expect so i think i give this four stars next up i read one that's been sitting on my shelf for a while that i've really been wanting to get to um claire from Rudy Bukowski had this on her favorite books of 2014 so I really wanted to check this out um, and it is Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. This is my first ever Virginia Woolf um, and I actually really enjoyed it. I think I gave this four stars. Um, it's stream of consciousness so at first I found it really hard to get into but I took people's advice and read this like more or less in over like a couple sittings. I didn't I didn't prolong my reading of this and that really helped. Um, yeah, I, I found this really great. Um, definitely feminist, definitely, you know, interesting. I especially like um, how she deals with 
the trauma of World War One and um, you know soldiers coming back after World War One. Thought that, that was fantastic um, with Septimus, and yeah, so that was that was my first introduction to Virginia Woolf. Um, I did pick up Orlando, which was mentioned in my last haul video, which might be my next one. I haven't decided yet. I've been told to read um, A Room of One's Own like really quickly after this, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. And finally, this is, oh, it's hard to choose which one was my favorite between this and Rebecca, and it is The Bird's Nest by Shirley Jackson. You guys know how much I love Shirley Jackson. This was phenomenal. I'm actually really sad because it's like the second last full story, I think, that I have in these modern classic editions. The last one is The Sundial. Um, this dealt with multiple personality disorders and it did it in such an interesting way. I think the book's only divided up into like five parts but each part is a different narrator except for twice you hear from Elizabeth's doctor um, and basically it tells the story of Elizabeth Richmond who is like being told she's acting out and she's saying bad words and stuff but she has no memory of it and it's her other personalities coming to the front and you actually get um narratives from these other personalities and you find out ultimately what happened well kind of ultimately what happens to her like she yeah it's it's really interesting it's a really good like psychological kind of gothic narrator also this is like the prettiest cover oh my god it's like a girl and she's got a mirror? I don't know. It's just, it's stunning. It was really good. Um, highly recommend this for fans of Shirley Jackson and fans of gothic and fans of like psychological stuff. But yeah, so that is my reviews. Um, next week is probably going to be a comics video, so if you're not into that, skip it. If you're curious, check it out. I'm gonna be talking about what I've been picking up lately and stuff like that, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!